done a presentation for the visiting guests from the insurance sector and also from the fire authority. Showed them how the system works, what the different aspects of the system are and how it will benefit them in a real fire situation. We took some Q&A from them and hopefully clarified some information for them. We then took them to the live demonstration area. We did two simulations. One was a dry test to show a real heat source and how the thermal cameras will pick that up, send the information through to the water monitor system and then discharge into that area. The second test um, was a simulated fire source but with a, a live water discharge again to show the reaction times, the way the system will work and how the water jets will cover an area of discharge for the information given to them to a specific target area and extinguish that fire. If there's a fire incident within the auto store grid, the thermal image cameras will detect the fire seat and they will calculate where that is on the grid using the zone system we have. They will then send that information to the water monitor, control cabinet, and when that system is enabled for operation, it will take the information from the cameras and then direct the monitors to spray discharge water to that specific area of fire. The biggest challenge was probably because we've got a camera a system with thermal imagery and then a mechanical system to direct and spray water, was meshing the two together to make sure they work in tandem, that the software was synchronised, the communication between the two systems was working as it needed to, to make sure that what the cameras picked up in any specific area was relayed correctly and interpreted by the monitors correctly to make sure that any fire is extinguished. It is the final piece of the jigsaw, so we already have the suppression system provided by the sprinklers, but because of the compact nature of the storage system, it is very difficult to actually obtain that final extinguishment. The secondary part of the system to be able to put the additional water on that and allow the fire brigade to actually access it. Because without that, you are going to, from an insurance perspective, you're going to end up with much bigger loss and could potentially lose the whole of the building if without it. So from that, yeah, it's very important from that perspective. It's really pleasing to see that this sort of approach has been taken, which is a holistic approach, it includes suppression, detection, intervention, management and behaviours of people. And it's quite novel to see all that coming together in, in one strategy. The actual system itself is really interesting and these sorts of fires are difficult for us to put out, so having something that lets us penetrate into the, into the grid is really important for us and that will help us operationally. I think the day's gone really well. Uh, the presentation went down well uh, to the insurance companies and the fire authorities. Um, they seem to be impressed by the system and, and what it can offer to assist them. Um, the live testing went really well. The system worked perfectly, so um, yeah, good day all around, really.